Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. My name is Rushi Panchal and in this video we are going to learn Pattern Stamp Tool in Adobe Photoshop. So let's jump to the tutorial. Hello friends, in the previous tutorial we explored the Clone Stamp Tool, mastering its technique for precise duplication and removal of elements within our composition. Today we are diving into another essential tool within the same category, the Pattern Stamp Tool. Pattern Stamp Tool is located here in a toolbar right next to the Clone Stamp Tool. It's represented by this icon that looks like a rubber stamp. You can also access it by pressing S on your keyboard shortcut. Now once I'm selecting the Pattern Stamp Tool, we have to check the option bar on the top of this menu. Here you can change a size of this Pattern Stamp, Hardness, Brush and etc. Okay, I'm right now I'm selecting this brush Hard Rounded. Fine. Now what you have to do, you have to check a different different modes, opacity, flow, etc. to make a desired pattern. Now before we start stamping, let's choose a pattern. Click on a pattern picker over here. From here you can select a variety of preset pattern or you can also import your own custom pattern from your system. Okay. Now once you have chosen the pattern, it's time to start stamping. Click and drag your mouse over the canvas to apply the pattern. You see the pattern appear whenever you drag. Now we go to an empty canvas over here. Okay. And here we can start stamping like this. As you can see, it will be covering all my canvas with a pattern. Okay. Like this, you can create a different different pattern using a pattern stamp tool. Now notice how the pattern repeats as you move the tool. You can adjust the alignment and spacing of the pattern by changing the brush settings over here. You can just have to click over here and you can see a different different settings. For example, if I want to increase the spacing of the brush, just increase the spacing. Okay. Now, as you can see, once I'm going over here, you can see the spacing. Okay. Like this, you can increase or decrease the hardness. You can work on a different different brush style like this, as you can see. Okay, you can see a different different brush. You can also try to flip your X and Y axis. Okay, you can also build up a different different categories. You can see the brush. Okay, the same you can see over here like this. Now, if you want to create your own pattern, for that, you have to create first of all a new layer. For example, I am creating a new layer for creating my own pattern stamp tool. Fine. So I'm just creating a new layer, deleting this uh, background. Now what I'm doing, I'm go to the custom shape because from shape only we can create a pattern. Okay. So I'm creating the custom shape here. Uh, whatever we can create. For example, I want to create a flower pattern. Okay. So I'm just creating one flower fine moving over here so i want to create a pattern something like this so friends first of all as you can see we have created a red flower but there are a too much spacing around this flower so first we have to remove this spacing for that we have to trim this so select this layer and go to image and here you can see a trim Selecting this trim and as you can see a different option over here select the top left pixel color over here and make sure you have selected trim from top from bottom from left and from right. So from the all side it will be removed that extra area. Okay, because we don't need that in our pattern stem. So just selecting those all four options and select OK. So as you can see our pattern our shape is trimmed fine now. The next thing is we have to create this shape as a pattern. Now to convert this shape into the pattern, we have to select this shape and go to edit and here you can see define pattern. Select this option and here you can see you need to give the name of this pattern. I'm just selecting TP pattern stamp tool example okay and just press ok so our pattern is created this is our own pattern now need to see a pattern is created or not we need to create a new composition okay and now to check we have to select a clone stamp tool from this toolbar and now we have to select this patterns 
and as you can see here our pattern is created okay just double click on it and I'm just changing the brush okay I'm selecting this brush increase the brush size so as you can see guys our pattern is created so this pattern is created by ourselves so guys use your own pattern to create a different different pattern so guys like these you can create your own pattern using a shapes if you don't know anything about shapes then you can check our a shape video in adobe photoshop okay you can see the link in the description also you can check from this link over here okay so friends don't forget to experiment with a different blending modes and opacity levels to achieve the desired effect you can also create and save your own custom pattern for future use and there you have it that's how you use the pattern stem tool in adobe photoshop with a little practice and creativity you can take your digital artwork to the next level thank you for watching if you found this tutorial helpful be sure to like and subscribe for more adobe photoshop tips and tricks see you next time Thank you so much.